Hey all, um, there is this new tool popping up all over the place called Magic Path. Thought we might explore this together. There's not that much on the internet when it comes to Magic Path yet. There is uh, obviously uh, an X page. I found the a Medium article that states that it is a no code, no designer kind of an application. So a prompt to UI. Okay, when you navigate to Magic Path dot AI, this is this is what you're welcome with. We do get one project. I'm using the free version for now. You do get one project. Obviously, this kind of looks like Shatsia and UI, which is pretty nice and sl slick. Uh, you, we do get 10 components, uh, whatever the component means, not entirely sure. And this is our, I believe, canvas where we will be creating our next masterpiece. Okay, so apparently to create a new component, whatever component is, um, we click on the, the plus button here and we do have a familiar chat interface. We can obviously move the canvas. I think it's like an infinite canvas. So the chat disappeared. So to go back, I believe, to the chat, we have to click on the button here. Yes, so clicking on the button opens the, the chat interface. Uh, very nice and modern looking. We have the option to select a few default options that the application suggests, but we're going to try our own uh, idea. We do have an option to add an image and then obviously send it off. Zooming in and zooming out is a little bit too rapid for my liking. It just jumps in. It would be nice to have like a smooth zoom in and zoom out. Okay, we will try and recreate a Spotify UI. So let me just prompt. So I, I have added an image, just a Spotify um, UI, and I'm going to ask for uh, to create the same application. Okay. I might speed this up. We'll see how long it takes. It says that it's planning. It would be nice to actually see what it's actually doing. And it would also be nice to, to know kind of what LLM it's actually using. It's been around five minutes now. It doesn't really matter. If the design is good, it doesn't matter. Obviously, it would take way, way longer doing the design in Figma of, of the Spotify application. Okay, now it says it's building the, the project. Wrapping up things. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so it says your Spotify like up design is ready. It features dark theme sidebar a player bar okay that's pretty cool where is the player bar can we oh nice okay so it didn't fit within the um the resolution that we have picked so can i make it a little taller nice wow this is impressive i'm actually shocked uh, one of the reasons is because this is not just a basic html this is apparently react code or an application. So, I mean, all the hovers, obviously nothing is going to happen if I click, but still you get a sense that this is an app. Um, this is pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Let's, let's have a look at the uh, elements up close. Very nice. It got the name actually of the song that I was listening to. The bands as well. Very, very cool and very, I am very, very impressed. Um, look at that. So it works. So the UI works. Obviously, there's no uh, backend logic to it, uh, but the UI works. You can actually use a scroll bar here. Just amazing. So far, very impressed. More so than the one I did previously about Stitch, which just spits out an HTML page. Looks like we have a few options here. So we can keep asking the LLM or magic path. Uh, it's true. <laughs> it is truly magic so far um, to keep iterating. What else we can edit components. So if I click on. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. So by clicking edit component, you can actually edit a specific component. So you can edit this div, this section. Oh, wow. Um, so this looks like the lovable editor. 
where you can change the appearance, create flow. Okay, this is interesting. We'll have a look at it in a second. Create variants, open in a new tab. So let's see. Perfect. So you can actually share. You can share maybe this URL with, you know, coworkers, your clients to do a little bit of testing, get some feedback. Pretty cool. So that was open a new tab. Let's try the um, create flow option and see what happens here. Okay. So once you click, it adds four kind of anchor points, which I'm guessing will create another artboard. So I think we might actually, okay. So it's asking to describe a new component. So what should we do? Maybe we should do a sign in, sign in, sign up page. Let's see if this is going to work and if this is going to respect the, the color theme and the whole concept of this, uh, Spotify application, press enter, see what happens. Okay, this is it. Where is my sign in? <laughs> Where is my sign in page? Hey, come on. That didn't work. Oh, uh, come on. Don't disappoint me now. I'm going to give it one more try. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. This is incredible. Um, so it even took the green color from Spotify. Uh, I didn't specify that. This is insane. Uh, let's see. Of course, this is an input field. Very nice. Okay. Well, I am officially very impressed. Oh, even like it, how it renders. Let's refresh again. You see how it renders from the top to the bottom. Beautiful. That is actually very nice. If you click on plus to add a new project, we get the, the plans and billing. So I'm currently on free. I'm going to upgrade because I want to see the code in a second. And what else do we have? The account and then integrations. Very nice. So in integrations, we have coming soon, GitHub integration and Figma integration allows for component code import, design token import. So that means that you'll be able to import components from Figma um, with tokens and then use that as a starting point for your code. Okay, so let me just upgrade to, to Pro and I'm going to be back in a second. Okay, I've upgraded to the Pro version and what has changed is the, the number of components here. So I do have more than 200 components. I'm not going to probably use that, but I'm very interested in seeing what else we can actually do. So if I click on View Code, it shows me all the components. So we see all the TypeScript React components here. So this is the main content. It looks like it is using Lucid icons. So it's using Lucid icons. It uses Framer Motion to create the transitions. Um, this is going to be most likely, yes, it looks like Shatsian. So uh, buttons, tabs, cards, this looks all like Shatsian. It reminds me of really how V0 works. Um, Interesting. So these are all the components. What what can I do with them now? Can I download them? No, I can only copy the code. Okay. Okay, so if you will subscribe to this application, make sure that you don't change projects. I did change a project and it terminated the generation. And I believe it also deducted the number of components. So it treated like I use a component. So if you are going to generate, just stay on the page. I think once um, they add GitHub integration, that's going to be very useful because currently for me to, obviously I could just go and copy the, the code and create my own components uh, locally. But then again, I'm going to have to set up the entire application. Um, it's probably an XJS application, but you need to know the dependencies. It just It's just a little bit too much work uh, for now. But I mean, I am really impressed and I think this is, this is going to be a really nice tool. And if you are into kind of a prompt to UI uh, experiences, highly recommend. Uh, this is obviously not sponsored at all. I just paid 20 bucks to have this experience. So have a look, try the free version. If you find it useful, just leave a comment down below and yeah, 
let's uh, let's keep building. I'll see you next time. Thanks.